Slap your titties for the emperor. It's what he deserves. Because he doesn't have any. So he can't feel the gentle smack of his own mitts on his tits, you know? Because he he's a rib cage. He doesn't have tits to put mitts on. So you got to do it for him. Just think of him and go, and he'll feel it. Everybody, welcome back to Girls Play. My name is Maddie, and we are back with another Warhammer Wednesday. These are our favorite. And now turning into episodes where there is a story, a dramatic one, a beautifully dramatic soap opera that we are here for. I love the drama! I mean, ever since I got this text-to-speech device, I have not seen anyone but my centurion, some tech priests, that awful fucking dread knight thing, and you. Where are the rest Where of the Where are all the peoples? Did they all die off or something? No. Are you the only one left? Why is it just him? After we witnessed you at the brink of death, uh -huh. your body being sat upon the golden throne, all custodies went into a collective depression. They're collectively depressed? <laughs> Me fucking too. I mean, what? We all decided to stop fighting outside the planet's borders. We have never left this palace since, always guarding your sacred vessel. What a bunch of pussies you are. Oh, okay. I can manage myself, you know. I'm not a regular ass fucking corpse. Okay. If you can manage yourself so well, why couldn't you? Why couldn't you get this text to speech device? Important questions. Oh, of course not, my lord. <laughs> also, that still doesn't answer my question. Where are the rest of the custodies? The rest are currently guarding the palace, my lord. Well, in that case, tell them to go out and be useful instead. That's I fair. I could then give them the best war here in the Imperium for nothing. Well... <laughs> uh, about that, my lord. Oh. The most of us custodians have not only sworn an oath to never leave terror and your presence oh. after the war's heresy, but have also redefined the use of our war gear and armor to show that we are mourning a loss. It's quite this is hard awkward. to explain, but, um... Awkward! Oh. Did you ever just... Bring in some of the custodies here. Some of my companions, to be exact. Do it now. Oh, I sure do. It it's now. now! Okay! Anything you want, sir. Anything for you, Papa. Bring him in. We're gonna have a party. <laughs> He's so quiet. Well, here they are, my lord. Here they are! Some of your other companions. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Was that a motherfucking JoJo reference? Did they just put helmets on the pillar men? What in the fucking fat, sweaty, thirst trap motherfucking custodians is going on? Where's your fucking armor? Bring on the fan fiction! How is there no fan fiction written about these guys? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. They're like greased up and oiled and ready to go. They're missing all of the important parts of the armor. This is the fucking equivalent of Fabio. Get on it, people. I'm not a writer, but I might. It might do it for you. Holy shit. What <laughs> 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 on fucking roller skates is this? <laughs> oh. Mm -mm -mm. His? Loincloth is just permanently flowing. If you were in any other angle, you'd see everything. Mm -mm -mm. My glorious overlord, the Emperor of Mankind. Emperor? I am honored to be in your presence once more. It has truly been too long, my lord. My oiled abs quiver at your voice. They are greased up! Oh my god, yes! Oil it up, baby! If this is not supposed to be a JoJo reference, then whoever made this flew so close to the sun without even realizing it, because this is perfect. Joe Bros, raise up. Joe Bros, raise your hand in my chat. Um, give me, give me a good yare yare does it. Like... I see you. I see you, bitch. So this is how you mourn the death of me, huh? I just want you to know, my lord, this was oh. not my idea. You 
We don't see you much around anymore, brother. Brother? Y'all don't even look related at all. What was your name again? My name is... Didn't we used to call him Little Kitten before he was elected as the ever's own little personal kitten. caretaker? Oh, my. Little Kitten! I remember that little bottom anywhere. Like a little tiny butt? A little... a little booty for the little kitten? Oh, my. Whoa, I my. I remember <laughs> that <laughs> little bottom anywhere. <laughs> Aroused snickering! That's quite a subtitle. <laughs> I remember now. Little Kitten, the elected one. Hurrying his way so far into our ranks. Hi. You weren't ever useful for anything more but sweet talk, were you? Why is this so erotic? <laughs> Speaking of which, my glorious overlord. Uh -huh. This shit is so surreal. Yeah. Am I on drugs? <laughs> He's like, am I fucking tripping? This shit is so surreal. Am I on drugs? Yes, Kitten you are on has drugs. been your caretaker for such a long time. Uh huh. Would you perhaps be interested if any one of your other companions were to take over no. as the caretaker? I do uh -oh. remember quite mm. fondly that I was your favorite warrior during the Battle of Gunner <laughs> Snow. Uh -huh. The yeah. only thing I remember about that battle is that Rogaldor, Mordarian, and fucking Horse were being dominated by stupid <laughs> When their defeat was imminent, I came along and saved the fucking day with my massive army of golden people, killing 100,000 orcs at the cost of three of our own. I was in that battle as well, my lord. If you were in that battle, why the fuck does he have to explain it to you all over again? If you remember when you climbed on the enemy wall versus Cargat, you stepped on my head in order to get to the top. Truly, I am deserving of the position as your caretaker. Okay, I'm not to keep pausing the video, but like, what is this? Breastplates? This breastplates that he's got. Look, at, it looks like little little pans with spikes on them, and that's all I can think of is that he just put the tiny little pans on his man nipples and was like, "Hmm, yeah, this looks good. Got to protect the nipple area, you know. It's really." You know, in case anybody comes up and wants to titty twist me, they can't because I've got these weird plates on my tits. I'm still not even sure why you guys are half naked. Why would Fucking I suddenly seriously. want to change my personal complaint manager? I mean, what do you even do? Stand around and fap in the palace? Oh, no, that's the case. Oh, stop being a fucking thirst trap, bro. We are here to guard your holy body, my lord. Not one scratch shall reach you while we stand guard. Um. No scratches. Huh. <laughs> no scratches. Just a fucking warp-induced nuke right to the face. See what happens. Uh-oh. Um, uh you are the strongest fucking warriors that exist in the Imperium. What in the fuck are you guys doing undressed inside the Imperial Palace literally doing fuck all? Yep, he's angry. Listen, Eberman, they're just having titties because you can't anymore. Don't shame them for enjoying their meat prisons just because you don't have any meat left and you're just bones. You only wish you had meat. Then you too would be titties out. You're not wearing a shirt either, my guy. I'm just saying. When was the last time any one of you killed anything? Uh, I killed a fly the other day. You have the best arsenal ever put together at your disposal, and you do not use it. Bitches. You should be fucking ashamed, you shit nuggets. Yeah, shit nuggets! Okay, but like, alternatively, they're like, ripped and oiled. You know? Like, they could kill anything. They're very powerful warriors. But instead now, they're fucking, uh, uh, uh. So like, that's something, right? No. I want you three fuckers to get dressed, get at least a hundred other custodes ready, start up your ships, and go do something <gasps> to the Imperium. Get the fuck off Terra! Go! The rest of my 300 companions can stay within the Imperial Palace for now. Very well, my lord. It All right, well, done. they're gonna do it. We will be back with spoils of our victory shortly, my glorious overlord. What a commanding presence! What I wouldn't give to play some blood games with him. I don't... <laughs> Did they just fuck up Kitten a little bit? <laughs> so, um... Sh should I follow them? No, you are staying here. I still need someone to tell me stupid shit I can complain about. Don't move your ass. <laughs> 
shut the fuck up. I fucking love Seinfeld. Anyway, tell me what Tyrannids are. Well, you all know like this. <laughs> Amazing. Comic gold. I fucking love where that just left off. I love where that shit just left off right now. Like, you want to watch eight. You want to fucking watch eight. Oh. Remember a few episodes back when we were like, oh my god, I think this is going to get some plot. This was not the plot that I was expecting between the laxatives and the oiled up men. Not what I was expecting. But you know... I'm into it still. I love it. Episode 7, 10 out of 10, would recommend. I'm only going to call the custodian kitten now. I love him. He has a dad now, and his name is Kitten, and he is wholesome, and he is great. If I had to pick, I think this is my favorite one. I did little fuck boys. I can't. And then them just being completely roasted. And like, while they're calling our friend who's been there the whole time, fucking kitten and all this other shit. And the fucking emperor is like, yeah, fuck you guys. And you're half naked, whatever the fuck you are and whatever the fuck you do. Go do something useful. I loved it. Sweaty, muscular, thirst trap fucking custodians. Put some fucking armor on your body. Put some clothes on. Do what I say, not what I do. I really, really understand why y'all were so hyped about this series now. Like, I get it. I get it. I am going to become one of you. I'm going to be one of those people that's like, okay, you're into Warhammer. Continue to be into Warhammer, learn the basics, learn learn all of the, like, bullet points about everything, right? But then once you get to that point, watch Emperor Has a Text-to-Speech Device. I'm going to also, I'm turning in one of those bitches. I thought it was a little excessive, the number of comments we were getting, but now I'm like, no, I fucking understand. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. Thank you guys so much for watching all of this with us. It's been a wild ride, to say the least. Um, I'm very excited to continue this series and keep watching more. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I hope you slapped your titties in the Emperor's honor. And I, I know for a fucking fact, he only told them to put their clothes back on because he's jealous and he misses his meat. You would too if you were just a skeleton in a chair. So don't take your meat for granted. Slap your titties for the emperor. La 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 This is not the greatest song in the world. And this is not a tribute. Are you sure the water's sanitary? It looks questionable to me. If you know what it's from, 10 points to you. If you don't know what it's from, you need to fix that pronto. Made you look. I am so excited to be back again, Jays. What? Back again, Jays? Back again. You guys remember back again? I love back again. Text to speak. I fucking always get the talk to sp talk, text to speak, text to talk. Baha, bunkaroody, doody, booty. This was a good cut. <laughs> oh, it's so stiff. It fucking drives me crazy. I need someone to crack my neck the way that they do in the movies. When I say crack neck in the movies, I actually mean murder. Yes. The way they murder people in the movies is how I want someone to crack my neck because that's exactly what it feels like when the chiropractor goes in and is just like, Bruh. I'm not going to hang up. You hang up first. Okay, I'll hang up. You hang up. No, hang up. You hang up first and then I'll hang up. No, you. You. Hang up the phone.